good morning and praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We are so excited. Yes. Praise God about this day that the Lord has made. Yes. We shall rejoice and, and be, be glad, glad in this it. day. Yes. Amen. Amen. Listen, good morning to each of you. Welcome to Coffee and, and conversations. conversations. Amen. Another Amen. Thursday, Another Thursday morning. Good yes. morning to each of you. Amen. So we're just going to greet a few of you this morning. Good morning, Elders Watts and uh, Pam and Deacon uh, Clements, Amen. Uh, Mashida, uh, LJ. I believe I saw a goddaughter come lead on here. Amen. Lord, Deacon good Lester, morning. good morning. Amen. Good morning to each of you that yes. are coming on in. Come on in. Listen, Amen. as you're coming in, we want you to do a couple things. Go ahead and like. Yes. Like. Don't forget to like. Amen. Comment. Of course, you guys are commenting with each other. And share. Yes. Share. Amen. It's very important that you share this broadcast. Amen. Uh, so that others will be encouraged even after this morning. So uh, I, believe you wanna... I saw a few more people. You saw a few more on. people. Go the ahead. Glenn. Glenn. Hi, good morning, Letitia. Good morning. Uh, I thought I saw Pam. Uh, Brother Joe as well. this yeah, morning. The Taylor's. Good morning. Amen. 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 So good to have each of you with us. We got an exciting broadcast on today. Oh man, man, Lord this is, is really an God exciting so day good. for e he is. But this is really an exciting day for uh, for Kingdom Life. Well, we are going to be hosting our leadership conference yes. on today as well leadership. as on tomorrow. And so Glory we're going to, to have God. a great broadcast on today. Very excited about uh, what's going to happen this evening. Amen. So we're going to talk today about leaders. Amen. About leaders. So let's have a word of prayer. Let's just have a word of prayer this morning. Well, Father, we thank you. Thank you for those that are tuning in this morning. Yes. Thank you for those that are even be watching this broadcast even later on this evening. Lord, we pray that you would have your way as we discuss all things leadership. Lord, as we speak uh, to those hearts and minds that will be viewing, Lord, and those that will be watching later, Father, let us pray that, God, you would impregnate us with something, with vision, Father, that you impregnate us with a, a tenacity to lead in whatever area, God, in our homes, on our jobs, in our businesses, glory to God, even leading our own selves. I pray, God, that you will watch over this broadcast this morning. Be with us. Holy Spirit, have your way. Yes. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. 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 Praise so, God. So, Pastor Tina, yes. what's in your cup this morning? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Not sure. laughs> I have green tea with lemon on this morning. Green tea with lemon. Praise God. I have the freshly brewed... Uh, coffee with the hazelnut cream this morning. Okay. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Good for you. Amen. That's awesome. All right. It smells good. It smells good. It I'm telling you, the good. aroma fills the room. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So, um, so yes, yeah, so leadership, yes. leadership, or, you know, we have our leadership conference. Yes. Again, starting tonight, starting Amen. tonight. Amen. Uh, you don't want to miss this conference. If yes. you haven't registered, get registered now. You know, Pastor, I want to say something, though, say because... Something. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I want to say something because, you know, a lot of times people have conferences and they always say, you don't want to miss this conference. Right. So what when you say you don't want to miss this conference, why don't they want to miss because it? Because of the impact. I believe that um, you're going to be transformed on tonight. I believe that you're going to be stirred up tonight. Amen. I believe you're going to be encouraged on tonight in whatever field that you're working in. Uh, I believe that uh, the word that's going to come forth tonight by Pastor Dwayne Freeman is it, going to be a word that uh, will launch some of us into our uh, just our next dimension. Um, you know, uh, he has a, a very uh, skillful way of uh, just going in the word and mm -hmm. bringing the word to life. And so mm -hmm. um, you're in for a treat tonight. Listen, we're not live tonight. We're not live streaming at all. Right. Uh, these two you days. You have to be there. And so you will have yes. to be there. Yes. Uh, um, you know, just giving our media team a, a night off. And to, uh, to, uh, not off because they'll be there. But right. uh, just so we don't have to uh, just, just do that extra component. And mm -hmm. so you really need to be in the place. You really need to be there if you can. Mm -hmm. You really need to get there. Well, you mentioned Pastor Dwayne, so let me say something uh, that I know about him. He has served in his brother's ministry um, all this time, and he's actually the older brother or the elder yes. brother. Yes. And, you know, as I was thinking about um, that on today, I was thinking about the scripture that's actually found in Luke. I want to read it until you're hearing. 
Um, out of the New Living Translation, it says, if you are not faithful with other people's things, mm. why should you be trusted with things of your own? Wow. You know, it goes back to that scripture. That's good. Uh, in, in the NIV, it says, and if you have not been trustworthy with someone else's property, Come on. who will give you property of your own? Wow. You know, a lot of times leader, people who, who think about uh, the word leader or the term leader, they think about always leading, but they never think about serving. Right. And one component of leader, of being a good leader, is being a good servant. Amen. You know, the Bible tells us that the greatest among Jesus, he was the greatest servant. The greatest among you should be a servant. Be a and servant. so oftentimes when we think leadership, we always think leading, but we don't ever think serving. And right. so uh, Pastor Dwayne is truly a servant of God and Amen. a servant in his brother's ministry. Praise God. Listen, and then on Friday, we're going to have uh, our, our spiritual mom. Amen. Uh, Pastor Sharon McQueen. Praise Amen. God. Another leadership yes. guru. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes. I'm telling you, if you've heard this uh, woman of God speak, yes. you've heard, amen, the words uh, that come out of her mouth, yes. the passion. Yes. Amen. I mean, she leads um, the ministry with her husband, yes. Apostle Ray McQueen. Yes. Amen. Give an honor to my spiritual father. Amen. Our spiritual father as yes. well. And uh, just uh, a leadership, a leader in her own right. Yes. I mean, just uh, they, they have uh, one church and two locations. Yes. Of course, they have online church as Amen. well. Uh, built a tremendous ministry in, uh, in a city called Lynchburg. Yes. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a blessed, blessed woman of God. Look, also uh, um, serving or a retired um, Navy. Navy, she served yep. in the Navy. Served Amen. In the Navy. Served and, in the uh, Navy. And she she definitely uh, understands leadership. Yes. Um, Member of John Maxwell's team. John Maxwell leadership yes. team yes. as well, a part of the, the organization. Yes. I mean, I, I'm great, telling you, this great is, this, this is going to be a power, power packed. Yep. Two days. Amen. This is the leadership conference of 2022. Come on. You don't have to attend another leadership That's conference right. this year. This is the premier leadership yes. conference of the year. Yes. You have to get here. Yes. Amen. And we're going to give you some more information yes. about how you can get there. Let's go dive into what we're going to discuss. Let's dive in. So we're talking Amen. about leadership. Yes. Uh, just all things leadership. Yes. And I, I got some nuggets here. Amen. And, you know, Pastina has some stuff as well. And so, um, you know, I believe and we believe that the Bible instructs us on everything. Yes. And so we want to kind of just throw around some nuggets and some things that, um, you know, we've shared as well mm -hmm. and uh, over over the, over the years yes. with our leadership team. And mm -hmm. we believe we got the best leadership team in, in the, the world. world. Amen. We do. Man, our leadership team yeah. is second to, to none. none. Glory Praise to God. God. And so just to share some nuggets this morning. We're going to whet your appetite for the conference yeah, on yeah, tonight. Yeah, 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 I like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So, um. You know, uh, just some leadership nuggets. Okay. Uh, lead leaders should always be leading themselves before leading others. Oh, that's so how good. How important is that? Yes. You know what? When I hear that, I think about how, um, again, leaders, when you hear the term, you always think about leading, but you really should be a good follower. You know, you should be a good follower. And so, again, leaders should always be leading themselves. Who, who what instruction are you following for yourself? You know, leaders, leaders give a lot of instruction because they're leading, they're giving right. direction. But what information are you giving yourself so that you can be a good follower, you know? Right. And so I like that. As well as, I mean, again, yes, yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. But and also leading themselves. Yes. Being able to, to um, you know, have, you know, encourage yourself. Yes. Being able to pour into yourself. That's right. Uh, being able to you know, listen to CDs mm -hmm. and read your Bible and mm -hmm. pray yes. without being prompted. Yeah. And also That's other leader. leadership material. Yeah, and other yep. leadership material. You know, mm -hmm. being a being a leader, whatever area, area you're in, yeah. regardless of what it is, yes. take an initiative. Yes. Take an initiative, being able to lead yourself. Yes. Don't nobody have to wake you up in the morning yeah. to be on the coffee and conversations. Or don't nobody have Amen. to wake you up. Amen. And, and tell you what to do in your area of yes. responsibility. responsibility yeah. You are a leader, whether that's a husband, a yes. father, yes. a mother, uh, in a, a young place. adult yeah. in the marketplace, yep. you know, your own business. Yes. You have to learn how to lead, lead. yourself that's Look right. before you lead others. Amen. Because if you don't lead yourself, like Pastina is saying, you, that means, you know, even being a good follower, yes. then why would others follow you yes. if you're not going nowhere? That's so good. Oh, that's good. That is good. Amen. That's good. Amen. Uh, and I shared leaders should be intentional. Yes. You know, leaders should be intentional. Intentional, yes. Uh, you know, doing things on purpose. Amen. Uh, this is this is a year of harvest, and we have mm -hmm. expectation for a harvest of souls, yes. expectation for harvest in our 
in our businesses yes. and, and those kind of things. But we should be intentional yes. as leaders. Yeah, you have to be intentional. You have to, like we're talking about, we're, we designed this conference for people to come and receive information. A good leader would make it a point to put themselves in an atmosphere that would challenge them to change. You know, yeah, that's a right. leader must be intentional when things come up that will help um, I would say strengthen your leadership potential, a like such as a conference. This is something you must do intentionally. Make an investment in your leadership. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, leadership is more influence than title. So true. You know, so many times, yes. you know, people are, are going after titles yes. or, you positions. Know, or, or positions right. or elevating their titles, yes. whatever they feel like it yes. or whatever. But leadership is more than a title. Yes. I believe uh, leadership is influence yes. uh, even, you know, more, more than, than yes. a title. Yes. So it's more influence than title because, yes. you know, one thing happens that I believe even when we got ordained and as God uh, saw fit to, to ordain us years and ago elevate us, uh, yeah. and elevate us is because we was already doing the work. That's good. We already had influence. Yes. If you don't have influence, you don't need a title. Right. You don't, you know, the title is what God puts his stamp of approval right. on you and anoints you yes. for the work or for the assignment that he has for yes. you. But if you don't have influence, if nobody's following you, yes. if you can't get people to hear you mm -hmm. or listen to you, mm -hmm. then you don't really need a title. Right. And so, so many times people want the title, title yeah. before the influence. Yes. But you've got to have the influence, influence yes. before you receive the title. That's right. Or it's an opportunity to get a big head. Mm. And that only. <laughs> and that only. Amen. 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 Yeah. So leaders, as a leader, we should always strive for excellence in yes. everything uh, that, that we, we do. do. Excellence yes. on your, your level. level. Yeah. Excellence on our level. That's We've good. been in ministry for 11 years almost, now. Almost, yeah. Uh, almost 11 years yes. in May. And, and we don't have to compete with anybody. No. Amen. We don't have to uh, try to compare ourselves That's to right. any other ministry. That's right. Uh, you know, this is Kingdom Life Church. Yes. We're 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 okay with who we are. Yes. We're settled in yes. our assignment. We yes. know that we don't. We're not everybody else's assignment. Right. We're not a buffet. Right. Glory to God. But we do have specific things that that God has called us, us to, to do, do. Yeah. at Kingdom Life Church. And so we're not. We're not. We we don't feel any kind of way because we're not doing what everybody else is doing. Right. We're doing what God called us to do. Yes. And so. I like um, uh, number four. Leaders should always, like you say, strive for excellence in everything, in everything. they do. Amen. In everything. everything they do. That's so good. Amen. As a leader, we should also possess character, oh, uh, wow. integrity. Wow. We should also be commit committed. Yes. Uh, we should also be competent. Yes. You understand? Uh, and so. And have confidence. And have confidence. Yes. I mean, as leaders, yes. as leaders. We should be committed. Yes. You know, we're, we're, you're not really a leader if you're not committed to the call. That's right. And if you're not competent, you know, we hear so, so many times uh, these days, especially in culture, about weak leaders or weak leadership. And right. so you have to be competent in your leadership assignment, especially you're leading others. You're, you're in the forefront and you're giving them direction. You're giving them instruction. And so you must be, you, like you said, you must have character. Yeah, how you know? important is character? Oh, it's the number one. To me, I would say the numero uno. Yeah. You know, your character is so important. More important than your gifting, right? More, much more. You can lay much hands more. on the sick and open blind eyes, yes. but what if you don't have character? Listen, <laughs> then I'll say you don't have anything. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Your character is yes. so important. Your yes. character go before For you. you. Yes, yes, you know, I yes. was telling that we yes. were riding the car last night, and I was sharing with my son yes. and, uh, his, and our future daughter-in-law, yes. daughter-in-love. Amen. I was just, we was talking, just, just sharing, and we were just saying that, you know, a good name, yes. a Come good on. name is rather right. be chosen yes. than riches, yes. the Bible says. Yes. So when your name is good, you know, it's because your character is good. Come on. It's because people can speak well of you. Not all the time. You right. know, be leery of everybody speaking well of you. Right. You understand? I understand it's a, it's a thin line between that where, you know, everybody that's green light anything that you do. Right. But at the same time, you should have character yes. as a leader. Yes. As a leader, you should have integrity. Integrity. Come on. Hey, Amen. You should be able to say something and mean what you say. Yes. Don't be saying anything. That's right. Hey, Amen. But as leaders, you need to be able to 
say what you mean and, and mean, mean what, what you say. say. If you Amen. say you're going to be there, yes. you should be there. Yes. Listen, I'm talking to leaders right now. Amen. Amen. Who say they're going to be at the conference on tonight. Yes. Talk to leaders. When you say you're going to do something, yes. you should do it. You know, you always say chase your word down. Chase your word chase down. Chase your word down. Man, if I, I'm telling you, if I, if I can't be somewhere, right. if I'm running late right. or if I have an appointment that, yes. that uh, I can't make, what, do I, what should you do? Communicate. communicate. Amen. It's always important to... That what, that's yes. what leaders do. Yes. A leader will communicate. Yes. Those that are not leaders will not communicate. That's right. They'll just be late. Mm -hmm. They'll show up late. Yeah. They'll show up anytime. Yeah. Well, I don't get there show when up I at feel all. like it. They won't show up at all. <laughs> Amen. They won't be proactive. Right. You know you have an appointment yes. or you know you're supposed to be somewhere, right. but yet you won't communicate. Amen. That's not leadership. That's right. So let me read that again. Leaders should always possess character, commitment, confidence, and competence. That's so good. That's so good. Wow. That's so good. Wow. Look, leaders should be building relationships, but also equipping people. Yes. That's our assignment, yes. according to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. Yes. Listen, uh, you know, the Bible has called us to equip, yes. you know what I'm saying, to train. The yes. fivefold ministry gift has an assignment. Yes. Their assignment is to equip. Yes. I believe people have uh, the pastor's assignment, assignment or the five-fold ministry gift assignment mixed, mixed up, up sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They have an assumption of what pastors should be doing, right. but not understanding biblically what we should be doing. Yeah. If we will read the Bible, let me read it real quick. I know, I know we're short on time. Amen. Yeah. These 30 minutes go by quick. Man. You understand? <laughs> Look, let me read it real quick in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11 says this. In Jesus, this is Jesus Amen. there. The Bible says, and he gave some some apostles. That's so everybody right. is not called to be an apostle. Correct. Mm -hmm. Everybody is not called to be a prophet mm -hmm. or evangelist or a pastor or a teacher. Right. He gave some. some. Right. Not everybody. You understand? Sometimes you have a lot of chiefs but no Indians. Come you on. know, you heard that before. So and then verse 12 says, for the perfecting of the saints, yes. for the work of, of the ministry, ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come into the yes. unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God into a perfect man. Our assignment is to equip, to train, yes. to get people prepared yes. to do the work of the ministry. Amen. But so many times, you know, the people of God are sitting back. Mm. I believe they're sitting back because, you know, they're waiting for the pastor wow. to tell them every little thing to yes. do. That's not leadership. Right. Again, we're talking about all things leadership right. this morning. Amen. Praise God. So we want to encourage you, amen, amen that leadership is about building relationships, yes. but and also equipping, equipping people. people. Amen. You know, leadership, again, biblical leadership is not about self. Right. Again, it's always about others. That's right. And so whenever you step into a position of leadership, you have to think about other people. Mm -hmm. You have to think about equipping people. Come you on You have now. to think about teaching people. You have That's to right. think about leading people. You have Amen. to think about governing people. Yep. And so, again, you want to make sure when you step to the forefront and say, look, I am called to be a leader or I would like to operate in this leadership assignment. What does that really mean? Come it's on. not about self. It's always about serving other people. Wow. In the, and again, the word of God, we utilize the word of God. So there'll be times as a leader that you have to correct. Yes. You have to rebuke. Yes. Of course, you edify, you yes. build up as well. Yes. All that's part of the leadership training. Yes. And as leaders, we must understand that because you're being rebuked or because you're being reprimanded yes. or you're, you're still being equipped, equipped yeah. don't don't miss the assignment right. or the lesson right. that you're still being equipped because yes. you're on a journey with God. You can say it this way. You're being sharpened. Right. Amen. You're being sharp. And, and that brings us to my next point. Amen. Because the people that 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 you don't train will drain you. Oh wow. Ooh. Wow. You hear me, leaders? Wow. You hear me, directors? Yes. You hear me? The people that you don't train will drain you. Wow. The ones that you just let do what they want to do, yes. the ones that you don't correct, right. they will drain you. you know, we they will always yeah. want to you know, pull on you after right. the message. You've right. already heard the message and, and they'll drain you. They'll, they'll have, always have problems going on mm -hmm. in their life because 
they're not that sometimes they're not even submitted to the training. True. And I like that. The people you don't train will drain you. It made me think about how necessary it is as a leader to equip a person. You wow. know, how necessary it is to teach them, how necessary it is to lead them. You know, oftentimes people again are not good followers because they haven't been properly trained. Mm. And so we would say this little um, statement, inspect what you expect. There you go. Inspect what you expect. Mm. And so we want to make sure, even with, with uh, being intentional, like we talked about earlier, and this right. type of training, this leadership um, conference that's going to take place, this is an opportunity for your leaders to be trained. Come on, bring your leaders. Yes. I don't understand. <laughs> well, I don't get it unless yeah. you're... You know, why we won't bring our leaders, leaders yeah. to conferences right. like this. Why we won't bring our why pastors won't bring their leaders mm -hmm. to conferences like yeah. this so that they could so their people can, can be, hear yes. firsthand yes. instructions that's gonna help them serve the they, ministry that's better. That's right. Like you said, the people you don't train will drain you. They're gonna you. drain you yes. if you don't train them. And you're that's not gonna right. give them everything, man of God. That's right. You're you not gotta able bring to. them to trainings. You yes. gotta bring them yes. to certain leadership that's development good. trainings. Don't cut corners when you're training. Amen. Look, Do you got to, like you say, put yourself in an atmosphere. Oh, my goodness. We, we're putting ourselves in an atmosphere by having this conference. Look, so that our leaders can be continually That's trained. That's right. Praise God. Listen, if only our leaders showed up at this conference. Amen. If only Kingdom Life was That's there, right. guess what? We did what we was uh, assigned Called to, to do. do. That's right. Praise God. That's so good. Because... Because because we're the first partakers. That's right. It's home base, right? That's right. That's Amen. good. The That's fear good. of God, I, I believe the fear of God Amen. is seriously missing in the church of today. Wow. The fear of God. And, and look, that's from leaders on down. Yeah. The reason that there's so much distrust and yeah. division and, and disunity yep. and chaos yep. in the church yep. is because the fear of God. People don't mm. fear God. That reverential fear. That reverential yes. fear that, you know, the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of a knowledge yes, or yes. wisdom, wisdom but, yeah. but fools def despise wisdom, wisdom and instruction. Yeah. Oh, my God. And so uh, God, you know, is not a fear to be afraid, right. but a fear to understand who we're serving. Right. When we're serving people, mm. we're, we're serving that that usher, that yes. that lead usher, yes. you're not serving man. That's right. You're serving God. That's right. So don't disrespect the usher. Don't mm. disrespect the greeter. Amen. Don't disrespect the parking ministry team because mm. at that point you're disrespecting God. Mm. This is God's ministry. Amen. Not just kingdom life. The body, body of, of Christ, Christ. That's belongs right. to Jesus. Yes. This is his assignment. Yes. He birthed this in the earth. Amen. Amen. So when we serve God, Amen. Or we serve man, mm -hmm. we're serving God. Amen. And we should serve them as a way. Because look, the Bible tells us that, you understand, how could you love God whom you've not seen, right. but yet those that you see, you treat them a certain way. That's right. Man, we're talking about all things leadership this morning. <laughs> Amen. Welcome to Coffee too. and Conversations. Amen. Some good Amen. Stuff too. Listen, I hope y'all are commenting out there. Yes. I ain't seen no hearts or nothing. Amen. Let's get some hearts. Amen. Can we get some love. Co-sign on some of this Come stuff. Come on. Amen. That's right. Co-sign <laughs> some of this stuff. Amen. Not for real, though. We Amen. know about co-signing. Amen. Right. Amen. But, Amen. But go on, give us a few hearts or something. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. All right. Look, never join the enemy to fight against your spiritual parents. Wow. Want me to say that again? You should. Never join the enemy to fight against your spiritual parents. Wow. Never, listen to what I'm saying. Never join the enemy mm. to fight against your leader. Yeah. Don't be in a corner somewhere speaking against your leader. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look, there were some people in the Bible. Look, I don't have time to visit all these scriptures. Right. Numbers chapter 16, right. Korah, Abiram, and Dathan. Yes. They, they, and 250 leaders rose up against yes. Moses. Yes. They rose up against Moses, the man of God, wow. the pastor. Wow. They conspired to come against this man of God and his assignment. Wow. Never join the enemy, you understand? To fight, against. to fight against your spiritual parents mm -hmm. is not going to end well. No, it's not. It's not going to end well. Keep your mouth off your past. I know that's old. Oh, that's old school. No, it's new school. It's new school. <laughs> Amen. Keep your mouth off the men and the women of God. Yes. And instead, pray for them. Come on. Pray for your leaders. Pray for your Look, leaders. From the White House to your house. Come on. Pray for 
for, Pray for your, your leaders. leaders. I don't agree with everything that's going on that's right. in this administration, right. but I pray for President, president. Joe Biden that's right. every single day. I pray Amen. for the cabinet and all those, everything that's happening. Yes. Why? Because I live in these United States. That's right. I have no hate in my heart. Right. I don't care who is in the Who's in, in authority. The, in, in authority. That's right. But the Bible tells us to pray, pray for, for those, those that that's in authority that yes. we may lead a quiet and, and peaceable, peaceable life. life. Yes. Something's wrong when a believer hates on leadership. Mm. Something is wrong when you're a leader in, as a pastor, a five-fold ministry gift, and you're putting your mouth on leadership. Amen. Something is wrong with you. Amen. It's a heart condition. Yeah. Something is wrong yes. with you. Amen. I guess we got so much material, you know. I know. <laughs> Let's get through a few more, Let's though, get in, a few in, more. A few, in the minutes that yeah. we have remaining. Look. Number um, 10. This is good. You cannot continue to ignore your profit and profit. Oh, that's good. You cannot continue to ignore your, your profit, profit, your P-R-O-P-H-E-T yes. and P-R-O-F-I-T. Oh, that's you good. You cannot ignore the profit of yes. the house, yes. but believe you're going to profit. Mm. Come on. Wow. A lot of you don't understand the importance of sitting your vision at the, oh, at the man and the yes, woman of God's feet. feet. Yes. You don't understand bringing your dreams and yes. sitting at the man of God's yeah. feet so that Submitting we can them. pray yes. and pray over them yes. and, and help believe God with yes, you. Yes. Some of you are so private mm. about the things that God is doing in your life. Right. Amen. It's almost like you're hiding. Amen. You're hiding yes. from God. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> But you don't profit that way. No. You don't profit Amen. that way. Amen. That's so good. Amen. Woo. We look. Elijah received the double portion of the spirit of Elijah. Oh yeah. Because he wasn't double minded when serving him. Oh, that's so good. Elijah wasn't yeah. double minded. Look, I just heard divided loyalty. Divided loyalty. Divided He was loyalty. not double minded. No. So many times. That's right. People have a divided loyalty. Yes. They, 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 they're with you today, but tomorrow right. they're not. Come on. You understand? They're so fickle yes. in their hearts. Yes. Amen. That God wants to use them. God yes. wants to push them into what he has for them. Yes. But because they're so fickle. Yes. But God, even Elijah, I think about Elijah. Mm. You know, when he went through that bout of depression and yes. God told him, get up. Yes. But you know what God told him to do? Listen, because God knew that Elijah was struggling a little bit. Mm -hmm. You understand? What did he tell him to do? He said, listen, I'm a, I'm a, I need you to go and go ahead and uh, let me take you to another place. I want you to go to this place yeah. and anoint this other man of God. That's right. I want you to anoint this other man of God. Why? Because he knew that he was growing weary. Mm -hmm. You understand? And now it was time for him to train his, his replacement. replacement. Ooh, <laughs> that's so good. Read the rest of that we <laughs> have written down. Be sincere Be to your sincere pastor. Be sincere to your pastor. Wow. It's so much, man. We might, we might have to continue this <laughs> next week. Maybe so. After the leadership conference. After the leadership conference. conference. Yeah, kind of nuggets. unpack it. Yeah, oh, unpack my goodness. It. This is good. Yeah. Are y'all enjoying this this morning? Amen. Are Let us know in the comments this? if y'all have enjoyed this, this time Man, with I'm us telling this morning. You. Let, let me share one more nugget and then we're going to shut it down. Amen. We got to shut it down. Amen. Amen. As a leader, you must understand if your pastor can inst can't instruct you, mm. then his grace cannot bless you. Whoa. Come on. Let me say it again. Ooh. As a leader, you must understand if your pastor cannot instruct you, then his grace cannot bless you. Oh, wow. You are a partaker, partaker. of the grace yes. that's, on your, that's on your pastor's, pastor's life. That's right. That's right. You're a partaker of the grace that's on your pastor's yes. life. And if yes, your yes, pastor yes. can instruct you, yes. you can't receive the grace. Wow. Hey Amen. Listen, we mm. know we got we mm. got Jesus, we got God, but yes. God places us up, up under leaders yes. in the earth so that we can be better. You got to read this last little part huh? about Gehazi. Gehazi, Gehazi received by, look, Gehazi battle. received battle mm. instead of mantle. Woo. He received battle instead of mantle because he was disloyal. 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 He was disloyal to Elisha. Mm -hmm. He received he received battle instead of getting the mantle because he was the next one that was that that Elisha was raising up. That's right. Instead of receiving the mantle, yep. Amen. As Elisha did, yep. Gehazi received battle. Mm -hmm. He received leprosy mm -hmm. because he went out and went behind his pastor's back, yes. his leader's back, yes. and began to speak things and began to receive things yes. that was not of God. Read Second Kings. Yes. Read uh, Second Kings. Uh, chapter 5, uh, that's it, uh, start reading around verse 20. Amen. Amen. Listen, we're going to stop right there and praise God. Listen, Good we just want to share all things leadership this Amen. morning. Amen. We're going to continue next week. Yeah. Just, just, just briefly next yeah. week. 
Amen. Before we get back into our topics, and Amen. I pray that you were blessed this morning. Yes. I pray that something was shared this morning Amen. Uh, that bless you. Please share this, share this, share this, share this. Yes. Amen. We want to see you in the building tonight. Yes. Where are we going to be? We're going to be at 4700 South Laburnum Amen. at the Four Point Sheraton. Yes. We're going to doors open at 6 30. Amen. Lord. Prayer begins at 6 44, 6 45. Amen. Amen. You want to be in the building Amen. tonight. The service starts at seven you can still register yes. the registration has went up from 30 to 40 dollars yes. as of midnight yes. so if you haven't registered you can still register at the door yes. or you can register online amen. at www.kingdomlifeva.com you yes. go to our website yep. amen or you know look under events you can register there yes. praise god we're so gonna much have a great time have a great man, time I'm, so, I'm, tonight I'm pumped, pumped up, up. Yeah. Well, i'm pumped up man <laughs> I'm ready for I'm ready for leadership now, boy. Yeah, you said that it made me think about that uh, movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He said, I'm here to pump you up. Yeah. I, think, I think that was him. If it's not, look, charge it to my head, not my heart. We get Amen. ready to pray. Listen to this. Yeah. It's a leader shift mm, conference. There on. is a shift going on. Yes. Please discern the yes, shift. Yes, the shift. Don't miss the shift. Amen. God wants to shift your mindset. God wants to shift your atmosphere. Yes. God wants to shift you in this next dimension. God wants to shift you in this year of 2022. Glory. Don't miss the shift. Praise God. Don't miss the shift. Well, Father, we honor you again yes. and bless you. Thank you. Thank you for this time of impartation. Glory to God. This time of just uh, talking about all things leadership. Lord, we pray. Lord, we pray that you would have your way on tonight. Lord, minister to each and every one of us. Yes. Take us further than we've ever been. Yes. Challenge us. Correct us. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Encourage us. Push us into our destinies, yes. Father. God, I thank you for those that are watching us online, yes. those that are watching us later, Father. Yes. Minister to their hearts. Minister to each and every one of them. Yes. Let them obey you on tonight. Thank you. Those that need to be there, Obey God. And I thank you yes, for them God. doing it, Father. Yes. In, Jesus In Jesus' name. name. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless Amen. you. God bless you We all. love you. Have a blessed day. We'll see you tonight. Amen. Yay. Until next time, what's in your cup? What's in your cup? Amen. Amen.